Lawmakers in the House are set to return to the Capitol on Monday to start what is promising to be a very busy five-day legislative week. Republican lawmakers are expected to continue their work to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act. Last week at their retreat in Philadelphia, Republicans suggested that they may continue that work by passing a bunch of smaller bills through the House. While they can accomplish a host of those in that chamber, they may face some hang-ups in the Senate, which is much more closely divided. Last week, President Trump suggested that he would use Speaker Ryan's tax reform plan that included a border adjustment, which would involve taxing imports from Mexico as a means to pay for the wall. This plan is probably going to get a lot of backlash from House Democrats, but it also might upset some House Republicans who call the border wall plan ineffective and very expensive. Some estimates for how much the wall would cost are upwards of 12 to $15 billion. That's gonna be a problem when it comes to not only Democrats, but also some moderate and fiscally conservative Republicans. It remains to be seen how leadership can get all of their conference on board to pass what President Trump promised on the campaign trail. Overall, Congress has a lot of work to do to implement all of President Trump's campaign promises. So when the Senate returns this week, they'll be taking a procedural vote on Rex Tillerson's nomination to be the next Secretary of State. They'll be voting to end debate. Democrats changed the rules on these types of nominations in 2013, so we only need a majority of senators to vote to end debate. So because Republicans have the majority of the Senate, we expect that nomination to move forward. But if Democrats want to try and drag this out a little bit, they can insist that all the time be taken up for the rest of the debate, so that could push the confirmation vote until Wednesday. And you can expect to hear a lot about Russia from Democrats who will likely be going to the Senate floor to talk about Tillerson's domination. He's the former CEO of Exxon Mobil. We'll also see some more action this week on nominations uh, to Do President Trump's cabinet. Uh, the Senate Judiciary Committee will be voting on Senator Jeff Sessions of Alabama's nomination to be the next Attorney General and the Health and Education, Labor and Pensions Committee will be voting on Betsy DeVos's nomination to be the next Education Secretary. Betsy DeVos's nomination has caused quite a bit more contention in committee. Uh, Senator Patty Murray, who's the ranking Democrat on that committee, has actually asked for another hearing. Democrats say they have more questions about her financial conflicts of interest um, and some of her ethical issues as well. But Senator Alexander from Tennessee, the chairman of that committee, has said we're not having another hearing. Mrs. DeVos have, has sat before our committee longer than other nominees and he's argued that she's met with all of the committee members so that she is ready to go. But you can expect to hear Republicans and Democrats continually, continuously uh, remaining at odds over the nomination process. Republicans have been really frustrated with Democrats, accusing them of slowing nominations down. Uh, one Republican said last week that they're creating a circus out of this process. Democrats, on the other hand, have been saying that they need more time to vet these nominees and they want to make sure that there's a full debate. And in their view, if they don't get that debate in committee, they're going to take that onto the Senate floor. So there's a lot we'll be watching in the Senate this week. Uh, they might also look at what the House is doing in terms of rolling back some of the Obama's regulations. So we'll keep an eye on it.